When we all started watching Mighty Morphin Power Rangers we fell in love with the Pink Ranger and Kimberly Hart stole our hearts with her sweetness and beauty. Beyond that sweet face is a warrior who has demonstrated the great power of a true ranger. Although her role as the Pink Power Ranger may have seemed very short because like Jason, Zack and Trini, Kimberly left the series, but she did so in the third season. She is the longest running female Power Ranger as the Pink Ranger and the fourth longest running Ranger among all the Rangers. Her story is not only seen in the TV series, but we can also see her in the comics in which we have learned more about her life and even a new transformation. When Zordon called the five youngsters and chose them as Power Rangers, the story of Kimberly, a girl dedicated to gymnastics to whom Zordon gives the pterodactyl power coin, which was the only flying Zord at the time, began. His weapon of attack is the power bow which works for close and long distance combat. The pink ranger suit was distinguished from the other ranger suits because it was the only suit with a skirt and the reason for this is because the power rangers come from a Japanese series called Super Sentai. In the United States they used the Super Sentai scenes when the rangers were already transformed and only added scenes with the American actors. Because the Yellow Ranger of Super Sentai was a man, he didn't wear a skirt and that's why the Yellow Ranger of Power Rangers didn't wear a skirt either, since those scenes were from Super Sentai. Although at first Kimberly is a good-hearted character who comes across as the typical sweet but somewhat naive girl, she changed her way of thinking when she switched bodies with Billy as this helped her to understand the problems of others and she was able to see life from another point of view. In addition to gymnastics, Kimberly had also taken dance classes and had been seen with other skills such as designing flower arrangements, singing, and playing the guitar. Her gymnastic skills have helped her in many battles as she uses these skills to better jump and attack her opponents. When Tommy Oliver arrives at Angel Grove School, Kimberly is attracted to him, but the moment Rita casts a spell on Tommy, he begins to behave hostily towards her. After breaking the spell, Tommy apologizes and they begin a relationship. This relationship grows stronger when Tommy loses his Green Ranger powers and Kimberly still supports him. Unfortunately, when Tommy loses his powers for the second time, he leaves Angel Grove and the relationship also ended. Then Tommy returns as the White Ranger, and they started their relationship again. This relationship has been the most famous of the entire franchise as they are also seen together in the first Power Rangers movie from 1995. Despite this, in the Power Rangers Turbo movie Kimberly appears with Jason the Red Ranger and many thought they were together, plus when Divitox put a spell on them both, Kimberly told Tommy that she was with Jason. This was said under the spell as Divitox knew this would fill Tommy with jealousy and cloud his judgment. Still, many fans have commented that Jason and Kimberly also had a relationship because of what was seen in this movie and because in Power Rangers Zeo Kimberly sent a breakup letter to Tommy saying she had found someone else. Kimberly's departure from the Power Rangers left a huge void among the fans, but as we said at the beginning, Kimberly is a great gymnast and a coach which sought her to participate in the Pan Global Games held in Florida USA. After this, Kimberly chooses Kat to replace her even though she had already been under the spell of Rita and Lord Zed and had taken Kimberly's power coin from her. Despite this, when the spell was broken, Kimberly saw something special in Kat and chose her to be her replacement. Like the other members of the Mighty Morphin team, Kimberly appeared in some important battles such as the legendary battle, the battle with the Megazords in Cosmic Fury and Jason's battle against Golder in Beast Morphers. In all these battles she only appeared transformed, just like her short duration in the special episode to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the franchise. 
For this special episode there was a lot of controversy with this character since the actress was about to reach an agreement with the producers, but then said she would not be able to be in the filming because she did not like the story they had written for her character. Although this was Kimberly's last in the TV series, the Boom Studio comics talk more about her life and what happened after she gave up her power to Cat. After a while, when the Mighty Morphin were off Earth, Zordon reactivates the Pink Ranger powers that were still dormant in Kimberly to do one last battle on Earth. Kimberly calls her friends Zack and Trini who still remained on Earth to join her as the Black and Yellow Rangers. In addition, she recruited two brothers to be the Red and Blue Rangers, leaving Kimberly as the leader of the group, being the first pink leader of the Power Rangers. This comic shows the events that led Kimberly to write Tommy the letter scene in Power Rangers Zeo and also references that the other guy she had a relationship with was Jason. This all happened in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers pink comics, which are more dedicated to Kimberly. In the regular comics, Kimberly never left the Mighty Morphin team and her relationship with Tommy always continued. However, in another dimension there is another Kimberly who lived a different story because in that universe Tommy Oliver took another path. Even though Jason broke Rita's spell, Tommy Oliver decided to remain a villain and then destroyed Rita so he could stay as the leader. In that other dimension, Tommy Oliver, now better known as Lord Draken, cast a spell on Kimberly and transformed her into Ranger Slayer. With this transformation, Kimberly was evil and served faithfully to Lord Draken, in addition to a spectacular costume change which has become very famous among Power Rangers fans. The story of this character in the comics is extensive since there are other comics dedicated only to Ranger Slayer that talk more about his story in the other dimension. If you want to know more about all these comics, you should stay tuned to this channel as we always talk about the stories of these comics. In addition to all these comics that have been published, the actress who plays Kimberly decided to create another alternate history about the Mighty Morphin team called The Return. Although many thought that this story was going to be only about Kimberly's life, the reality is that it has been about the entire Mighty Morphin team 22 years in the future after they defeated Rita and Lord Zed. Trini Kwan the Yellow Power Ranger in Mighty Morphin is one of the most remembered characters in the history of the franchise, not only for her emotional strength and her big heart for wanting to help others, but also for the unfortunate event of the tragic death of the actress who played this character Twi Trang. Although many think she was a Japanese or Chinese actress, she was Vietnamese-American. Trang was the last Asian actress to play a Yellow Ranger since Asian people are derogatorily called Yellow and casting an Asian to play the Yellow Ranger offended many people. Speaking of the character, Trini was a quiet person, eager to help others and very strong emotionally. She was the 16-year-old daughter of a Taiwanese doctor and a Korean woman, who lived in eight military bases for the past 15 years due to her father's work. Although she wasn't Chinese, nor Japanese, she still practiced many customs of these countries. When Zordon decided to choose Trini as a Power Ranger, he transported her to the command center along with her other friends. Some did not decide to believe in what was happening, but Trini decided to believe in Zordon and stayed at the command center to accept the challenge of being a Power Ranger. Quickly after agreeing to be a Ranger, Zordon transports her back to Angel Grove where she had her first battle with Rita's warriors. At first it was difficult for her but then she activated her Morphosis and became the first Yellow Ranger of the entire franchise. With her morph now complete, she was able to defeat the enemies and master her battle mode well. Although Trini was not as gifted in intelligence as Billy was, we know that she was very intelligent, 
because of this Trini did things like changing the language of Alpha 5 to a language more up to date to that year. Despite being a brave young woman, Trini was afraid of heights which led her to have many challenges. Rita took advantage of any weakness she could use against her. She was also challenged by her lack of self-confidence, which was due to Rita's spells, but Trini overcame it time and time again. One of the biggest challenges she had was when Rita took all of the parents, including Trini's parents, and this devastated her. Rita gave them a choice between their parents or the power coins and Trini chose to give up her power coin. At the end of it all they managed to get the parents back and also the power coins to continue fighting against Rita. Although this does not appear in the TV show, in the comics we are told that Trini was in love from the beginning with Jason and they managed to kiss when their powers were exchanged, and she was the Red Ranger. After this Trini and Jason thought it would be a bad idea to be together since that could be a weakness that their enemies would use to attack them. Trini was a very attached person to her friends, she supported them in every event they had and was always there for them. She was very close to Kimberly as they were the only two female rangers on the team and both worked hard to help clean up the environment. She was also close friends with Billy as they both had their great intelligence in common and Trini would help Billy translate all the technical words in the speeches he gave about his inventions, and she would explain it in simpler words. In addition, she also helped him study for his exams and helped him with his projects. When Trini made her transfer of power to Aisha, the explanation that she, Jason and Zack gave was that they were going to a world peace summit in Switzerland, but in reality, they were going to form a new group of rangers guided by the Blue Emissary, who was a representative of the Morphin Masters. If you want to know more about the Morphin Masters, you can search for this video in our channel. The Blue Emissary had asked Jason to help him repair all the damage that had happened in the grid due to the event with Lord Draken. The mission was to find people who had suffered changes and help them understand what was happening to them and guide them on the right path. When Jason heard about this mission, he wanted to do it alone or find a team other than his current Mighty Morphin team as he didn't want to involve them because he knew this mission was going to be hard. Still, at one point Jason was in the command center talking to the Blue Emissary and Trini and Zack walked in and saw them. Eventually, due to Trini's loyalty to her friends, she wanted to get involved with the new team and they both told Jason that they would not leave him alone in this new mission. The three of them quickly took off into space to other planets in search of people who needed help. In one of the planets, they met Kia, an alien woman who had some great powers, but she didn't understand what was happening to her. The people of her village wanted to burn her as they thought she was a witch, but Jason, Trini and Zack arrived to save her. Still, Kia gets desperate and creates an explosion with her powers and then hides. While Jason and Zack try to save people from the explosion, Trini was the only one who could convince Kia that they were there to help her and invited her to go with them in the ship. After having been through several worlds battling, they realize how great Kia's power is and invite her to join the new team they were forming. This new team was taken to a place deep in space by the Blue Emissary who presented them with the gauntlets of the First Rangers which had powers that came from wind, earth, water and fire. Trini along with the others took their gauntlets and became the Omega Rangers, Trini being the yellow Omega Ranger with the power of Earth. Later, Jason would lose his connection to the Morphin Grid and Trini would take the lead as the Red Omega Ranger. After fighting for quite some time with different enemies being the Red Ranger of the Omega Rangers, Trini still feels that she is not the right one to be the leader of the team. Fortunately, Zack has been with her all this time telling her that she is a great leader and helping her to be strong. 
This friendship slowly turned into a romantic relationship and then they started their relationship as boyfriend and girlfriend. In the special episode to celebrate 30 years of the franchise, Trini arrived along with the entire Mighty Morphin team to help Billy fight Rita. Unfortunately, in that battle, Rita launched a powerful attack towards Billy, but Trini noticed and quickly intercepted the attack. She gave up her life to save Billy as that powerful attack vaporized her and only her morpher remained. Trini had a daughter named Min, who earned the right to use her mother's morpher and become the new Yellow Ranger. Write in the comments your favorite Trini moment, like this video and subscribe for more Power Rangers stories.